Me and my two friends decided to spend 100 days in Minecraft One Piece. And uh, this is kind of how it all went down. Boom. Is that an island in the sky? So our goals in this video are to collect as many devil fruits as we can and get as powerful as we can along the way as well as build bases and discover all kinds of stuff that this mod adds from One Piece. If you like the video, remember to subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going back to my roots of a Brazilian sugarcane farmer. <laughs> Welcome back Dylan. Welcome back Robin. Another 100 oh, days. Yeah. One piece again, because we want views. No way. Absolutely. Yeah. We do want views. Anyways, I'm gonna get some wood. You can get this wood. Ooh. On day one, back at it again with the one piece. It's a different mod this time, so not everything's the same. There's quite a few new things and quite a few different things about it. On day one, we picked our class and all our kind of business like that, so we picked pirate, of course. I also chose to become a brawler. Now, this is like a, a thing in this mod, right? You could be a swords fighter. Um, there's, there's a class called black leg, like Sanji. And then you can be a brawler, right? And this just gives you specific moves to your class that you learn throughout the, you know, throughout your time playing. And you'll see me do that as we play. After picking our class, I just gather myself up a little bit of juicy, juicy wood. You know, you gotta get the bare essentials. Even in the world with devil fruits, you still need to get your crafting tables, boys, all right? Put your hands down. He is strapped up. The baboons are coming for you. Oh, no, they're not. And just oh my god he's trying to shoot the baboons dude yeah oh. the, the marines are like beating up the baboons and we also noticed that um robin's leg well it was it was ready for a fight just like sanji's you kick instead of punch that's pretty cool oh my god my guy is is prone and ready to start kicking a f and on the rest of day one we just robbed this village of the bare essentials that they need to survive what it what's up what's up now what's up with it now he does a lot of damage by the way oh oh he might be mad at me for killing the children dust him up dust him up ain't got nothing <laughs> Lit. easy and from days two to four we went mining and now a funny thing we found while mining is that robin actually even digs with his leg because you know you gotta save those hands for shepping up slicing and dicing dude a little dicing vacuum no not a vacuum you gotta save them hands for cooking, so he's digging up these ores with his leg. And look, there's nothing crazy in the mines, right? There's like one new ore, and I'll get to that. But I just get the basic iron, get some coal. We run into a mine shaft, and I was kind of hoping the chest in the mine shaft would have devil fruits, but they don't in this mod. You'll see where we get them from later. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, I guess. So we're getting a little bit of loot. We're getting a little bit of loot from the chest, okay? And what do you know? Your boy finds diamonds, dude. I'm feeling rich. I'm feeling shiny. I'm feeling like your boy don't need the one piece. He's he's got bags and bits. And as well as that, I do find the new ore, which is Kairoseki. Now this is going to be all but useless to us because if you don't know, Kairoseki seed prism, right? Seed prism stone. There, it's all it's all similar. So this stuff, even if you have it in your inventory means you can't use your devil fruit powers. But I picked some up anyway, because obviously I don't have a devil fruit right now. And that's basically it for our mining experience. Days five to 10, we build our house. And we don't build hundreds of houses in this video, don't worry. Because we built this pretty big one at the start. Now, as it's one piece there in Wano right now, we thought we'd go for that Japanese traditional aesthetic. So we just banged together with a lot of acacia wood and some spruce, this like kind of I don't know, traditionally Japanese house, you know, with the, with the cornery roofs. Dude, we built a few before, and I think they look really nice. So you kind of work your way up and through it. You know, we start with the outside, and we, we build up these little corners, and then the build kind of comes in a bit. There's this little stand area. Chuck a little roof on there, get a little lot of wacky, you know. And I also changed the build a little bit. So you could see maybe with the first few clips, I was using some, like, birch, some oak, whatever, and I was like... It doesn't look good, so I changed it to a darker block, and I think it really helped to make it look way better. It went with the acacia much nicer. And then we have to do the interior, and that was a little tricky because we we didn't just want to like bang a crafting table down, so we had to try and keep it with a symmetrical look. And I think it came across really well because we ended up with a nice little campfire over here, dude. We got chests, we got barrels to keep all our devil fruits in all right calm down calm down we'll get back to it in a moment and then you go up the ladder we got a campfire there as well and you know i put a couple smokers and stuff down smokers 
uh, we put a couple of smokers down, and so it was when we come to cook all our stuff. And that's basically the entire house complete, and I think we did a really good job. And on day 11, nothing crazy went down. I just cooked up the iron to get my armor and a few tools. Because uh, we, we still need the iron armor, you know. Even when you get a devil fruit, you're still taking a little bit of damage, right? Unless you get yourself a fancy logia. But they're a little rare. But uh, somebody's a little bit lucky, you'll see later on. And so, yeah, I just need a few tools as well. Iron tools, you know, sword, axe, pickaxe. So I'm, I'm ready to go digging any time. Day 12 to 13. We were doing a little bit of running around and we figured out that there's a huge marine base right up by the mountain by our house. I didn't even notice it earlier and it's huge. And so this is where you find devil fruits. So we charge up the mountain and run into the building. But I don't know, dude, the, the, the marines must be going on strike for bare healthcare. Because there's like nobody in here until we get to like the top floor. It's kind of weird, but whatever, you know, maybe, maybe they just didn't spawn. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But they spawn in later one, so don't worry, we'll have some intense marine battles. Yo! There's a mace, and a gun, and some bullets. Oh, some cigarettes. Robin, you want a cigarette? Ah! Uh, I need them! I need them! <laughs> oh my god, you're actually smoking on that thing, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Quick note with Robin's black leg class, he learnt this move, Kunkasa, that Sanji does, and basically whenever he uses it on one of us, we just get knocked out and the screen goes black. Hey kid, you wanna, you wanna siggy? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, we chuffing up now. Hey, hey we're getting gumbo gumbo no faded tonight, baby. On that dress, Rosa Gunja. A bottle of rum? Time to get pissed what? up. What? Subscribe what? to Kane's Ace and join the Discord and subscribe to the Patreon. I better drink that to there. that. Have a little bit of rum, my boy. Let's run it, baby! Oh, they oh, want the beef! Go. They want the beef, the noodles! Oh, he's got a bazooka. Yeah, maybe oh. maybe we take oh, him out why first. Why did you knock me out? Why did you <laughs> knock me out? Hey, you were Ooh. just a collateral, okay? Bad. Fellas, I got the I got the man dem on me. Oh. Sorry, guys. Stop. Please. <laughs> I don't want to be knocked out again. <laughs> Man tried to hit me with a strap, yeah? That's how you ain't gonna see Christmas no more. That's right. Juicy That's loot. Oh! Oh! Iron box! Oh. Sorry. Misclick. Now, oh, in that wooden box could be the best devil fruit you've ever seen. Yeah. And I got an iron one. And I believe there's gold ones. And yes, that's right. We got ourselves this iron box, right? And in that iron box is where you open it and you get devil fruits. So I craft up a key because you need to make a key. It's just free gold for a key. And we crack open the devil fruits. We have in this box a super super no me. So I got the Super Super No Me. Now the Super Super No Me is Daz Bones' is devil fruit. I'll chuck a picture of him on the screen for you real quick. He's the guy that can turn like any parts of his body into blades. He bought Zoro on Alabaster. And so I got that devil fruit now so I can start shepping people up in the streets and I get to London, dude. Man's gonna be left with more holes than a block of cheese when I'm done with him. A Nagi Nagi No Me. And it has the moves. Silent. And Dylan got the Nagi Nagi no Mi. This was Corazon's devil fruit, right? And what this did was make a like, he could make like bubbles where there was no sound that could escape. I forget the specifics, but basically he could move silently, right? There would be no sound. And so what this let Dylan do was like walk around and no other players or anything could hear the sounds. Not super useful, but like even if he, uh, you know, took damage or if he set off TNT right behind me, I would not know because of his devil fruit. Is he gonna do that? I sure hope not. But you know, you never know what, what a man could do. So now we got a couple of devil fruits. Now Robin missed out, but he got he got his crazy kick, so he'll, he'll be fine. Boom! Bop! Bop! Okay, and then, and then boom! Oh, and now's a good time to mention that bar on the bottom is all my devil fruit abilities. What else can your fruit do? This kid, you see this kid? See this kid? Dead! Look at this kid, right? Look at this kid. Oh my god, and you're- I'm bloody you're carving away in the land. Oh, oh, and this thing is permanent, this speed boost. 
Don't even worry, Robin. Your Devil Fruit can be the next one. On day 14, I went and got an enchantment table. You know how it goes, boys. I go down into the caves. I'm looking left, looking right like I'm crossing a road. I come across a couple people and they're eating a toad. But I get myself some obsidian. A little lava pool. Chuck some water on there. Dig it up with the diamond pickaxe I made from the diamonds I got from mining earlier. And so we got enough obsidian to make ourselves an enchantment table. Made myself a book. And then we got ourselves an enchantment table. Uh, you know, again, yeah, we got devil roots, but <laughs> some pro two goes a long way. Now on day 15, what we did was start to get to work on our class ability. So if you remember earlier, I said I was a brawler. So this guy turns up, right? And he's like, yo, I can teach you some stuff if you're a brawler, right? So he gives me these quests. So this guy gives me his quest. And so I just got to do this, right? I just got to do his quest. And it's pretty simple stuff. Killing enemies with my fist. I'm just barring kids, dude. And I do it on the daily anyway, so it's not that hard in Minecraft. And this unlocks a move for me called Suplex. Now, what this does is in this special little hotbar, right? This little hotbar is where all, like, your Devil Fruit abilities and stuff will go. It's separate to your regular hotbar. And I just grab a dude, and there's a bit of a cooldown, and then boom, slam him back behind me. It doesn't do loads of damage, but it, it does just about enough. And Dylan's class is Swordsman, as you could probably have guessed. And so all he had to do was get a Sharpness 2 sword and defeat a bunch of mobs. And so he learned this. this. Oh my oh. goodness. Pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Oh. And then we got that. Get him. Oh. Easy. God damn. Easy. You've got a ranged move as a sword fighter. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, mate. I then did another quest where I just had to get 10 kills using my suplex. So I just suplexed a couple of homies and then I learnt the spinning brawl. Now what this is, is I grab an enemy and I just spin them around and then I assume launch them, but they kind of just take damage. Day 16 to 22, we went on an adventure and found two devil fruits, man. But I'll just run some clips of us going to a few different places. We end up at marine ships, dude, pirate ships, the whole thing. Take a look how it went, and I'll catch you after we finished. Charge, men! Let's go. They're mums. <laughs> huh? Oh, we said. Oh five. my goodness gracious me! Ah! He's splicing and dicing right now, Ken. Okay. I'm bloody spinning them around. You're spinning me around. Oh, very good. A golden box! And there's plenty of gold in here as well. And a compass. Anything decent in this one? Oh my god, that's a lot of balls. Seems like your mum's favourite day out. Day out, man. Where's she going? Bowling? Well, put your nuts on a plate and bloody eat them like mashed potatoes. Onwards, men! Is that... Is that an island in the sky? Yes. Is that Skypea? Well, I'll be off to Sky Island, boys. Um, I bid you a good one. Oh my god, I made it! And it is looking wonderful up here. Hello? Were you guys having intercourse? A four-man survival is it up here? Well, I don't mind if I nick your bed, do you? No, you don't. You don't mind. You know, I'm going to take your books as well. You don't deserve knowledge. Go on, I might even take a bit of cloud while I'm here. Okay. A couple critters in your... A uh, couple critters in your ceiling. Don't worry, my lovers, I'll sort that out for you. Collateral there, my dear. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, bloody blimeys! Alright, we're fine. We're out. We're leaving. We're fine. We then, on day 23, cracked open the devil fruits. We have spoils yes. to unpack. Hey, oh, there's Bam! another one rolling up. Quick. Epic unboxing. What did you get? Goro Goro, no me. So Robin got the Gora Gora no me. Now this is Enel's devil fruit, the man, the myth from Skypea. Man's got a lot of uh, electricity going on. He, c he could power your microwave or something. It's a little more powerful than that as you're about to see. Oh, oh my. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's not uh, bad. I would say uh, that's. Yeah. I'm glad we moved away so from the shabby, house. Not so shabby, not so shabby. I guess. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Good <laughs> uh, yes, uh, pretty, pretty big. Uh, uh, maybe <laughs> wait a second before using the next one. 
Oh. Oh my god. Come here, look how deep that went. Crikey, mate, this would be good for mining. I'm standing right. back for this. Oh. Oh! 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 Um, okay. I don't need to read what's happened over there. Oh! Bit of a hole, really. Yeah? It's bigger than the other one, Kane. And I've also lost my devil fruit powers from my brutal death. Well, I'm I almost afraid to going. ask now, but have you got any more moves? He definitely Oh, uh, of course I do. Okay, well, I'm starting to think we need to move even further away from the house. <laughs> I have become a god. I have become a god. What the hell? <laughs> okay. So he can just just zap just like that as as if it's nothing and, and we're all just meant to agree with this it's, That's all there is to it. I, I, I guess that's just it Yeah, so uh, I died while Robin was just showing us his moves and Jesus Christ That is the most overpowered devil fruit I think I've ever seen if you're wondering he can be hit because he's made from electricity So yeah, I lost my devil fruit because I died good thing we're not on hardcore I'm ready for my devil fruit. Uh, Bomu Bomu no Mi. Oh, that might be interesting. And Dylan got the Bomu Bomu no Mi. Now, I probably don't need to explain that one by the name, but yes, it lets you create explosions. Or bomb, more accurately, bombs from nothing. This devil fruit in the manga was eaten by Mr. Five, a guy from Broke Works. Yeah, I, I don't know what more to tell you about him. He was the guy that was like throwing his like bogeys and they were blowing up. Dog was crazy. He, he was wild. Man was probably spunking and blowing it up just for sh** and giggles. So Dylan's, you know, Dylan's had a bit of an upgrade and Robin is now the most overpowered person I've ever met. And day 24, we repaired the hole that um, Robin had created because it was like right by our house. Oh, uh, not the huge hole, just the mediumly sized hole we repaired. And that's kind of all we did that day. Day 25 to 28, we made an enchantment table, room, tower, building, whatever you want to call it, man, we made one. Now, we were kind of going for like a wizard tower kind of look, split into two bits. We were going to put a brewing room in the in the other in the other little building that you can see kind of here from the layout how it's going to look. But we didn't end up doing that, but don't even worry about it because we got the wizard tower looking thing going on. It doesn't really match the Japanese aesthetic, but I couldn't really think of a, a way to kind of make a Japanese looking, you know, enchantment room without going a little over the top. So we just got this tower, and then you go in, and it's got like lanterns, we got bookshelves, you got these stairs, and then we got we got loads of books up here, and we got an enchantment table. So not a crazy build, but you know, it's just a little thing we knocked together to put the enchantment table, because it was just sitting outside the house for a long time. So I think it's better that it uh, has a place than just sitting around. Day 29, we made the portal room in this like hole, right? So we had that big hole that we covered up with some dirt, just recently and then we were like do you know what we could put the portal room in here and it actually came out really well i thought it was pretty 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 good handiwork so it's kind of like this little area here right and you just go down this little like spiral and it looks like some kind of like mine or something pretty good all around day 30 to 33 we're in the nether now we're not in there for very long because all we need is the fortress because this is 1.15 there ain't no ain't no piggies knocking about well there's a few piggies and there's your mother and there's your father but there ain't no piglins all right and that's the big difference so no you know we're just we just find in the fortress and then we're going in and we're just absolutely soaring blazes for blaze rods. Like we're just bah, 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 and they're gone. They're just gone. And you know, R Robin can't even use his abilities because me and Dylan will just die. So he basically has to just use this like one not very strong ability where he just like zaps. So we just gather up enough blaze rods to just help us, you know, get, get enough stuff from the nether. And so we get ourselves a blaze rod and then we're just running about and we even get a wither skull. Day 34 to 39, and we're gathering more devil fruit, my boy. So strap in, tuck in your tighty whiteies, and let's get to some business. So to gather more devil fruit, we figured out that they're basically only on marine pirate ships, uh, marine pirate ships, marine ships, pirate ships, and marine bases, and some pirate bases. It's kind of our going theory right now. So we're going around to these few different places and just watch us absolutely decimate a few homies. <laughs> Mate, you can paint. Okay. Sorry, that was a trap doors. 
So you that can open and go down rather than breaking your way down there. No, that that was a pirate. I'm sorry. I sent it to Kane. You're vandalizing their shit, mate. Oh yeah, my my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> I'll get it repaired. And so all we're doing is gathering one fruit for myself, right? Because I lost my devil fruit when I brutally died. Oh, you thought you could just eat some lunch? We don't like people eat. Oh, let me just make my own entrance real quick. I feel my death is imminent. <laughs> ah, why? Is there two captains here? Oh, this kid's still alive. And the thing is, you can just stand there and you don't do anything. <laughs> And so we're lucky enough to find the golden box. I should explain that we're getting these golden boxes. There's iron boxes and there's wooden boxes. And wooden ones are the worst. Gold ones are the best. It's, you know, it's stuff like a white beard's fruit. It's stuff like Marco's fruit. All in the all in the golden box. And as well as that, when we crack open the golden box, what do we find? This is a gum gum and me. Bam! <gasps> Yo. So your boy is finally Monkey D. Rufi. And uh, so we just f***ing slapping ass. Yeah, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. What the hell, man? What a gumu gumu no! Pop in a little gear second. We get a little speedy. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you, you broke yeah, his armor. Yeah, no, no you're going to kill me. I am now made of rubber. And I do calm down, because on day 40 to 41, I make a lovely sheep farm. And we're just using a bit of acacia in here, right? And why are we making a sheep farm this late in the video? I hear you ask. Well, because we want to make our own pirate ship. I know you may have wanted me to make the sunny, because in the last 100 days, one piece, I made the going merry. But uh, listen, it's a lot of work, and we had other stuff we wanted to do, because this mod's got a lot of features. So we make our own pirate ship instead. And I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. But before we do that, on day 42 to 46, we went on a little bit of a training arc, I guess you could say. So I learned a few moves such as Geppo. Now, this is what CP9 were doing in Annie's lobby, all right? They, they, they was just like hopping in the air, right? I also did more quests for my class. So this is like brawler stuff, right? And I learned to do this thing that Garp does where he just launches cannonballs. I could just grab it and just throw it at somebody's head and it'll just explode on impact. So it's pretty wild. Boys, the time has come for us to build our very own pirate ship. So from day 47 to 55, we build the SS Glizzy Galleon. That's right, you heard me, the Glizzy Galleon. And this is what we'll be using to ride into battle. Why is it called the Glizzy Galleon, I hear you ask? Well, Kane is about to tell you. After you get some shots of us building this ship. Now this is a big ship to build and this is why we need the sheep farm because obviously the sails made of wool. That takes a, that takes a dick and load of wool, alright? So we just start with, I believe, the hull. And now I'm not very good with boat terminology, so correct me in the comments happily, right? Now look, I know you don't want to spend, you know, 10 minutes looking at the progress of the boat. So I didn't take loads of shots of it as it was being built, right? But here's another shot of the boat. So now we have the sails. We got the main part of the boat. All right. It needs some personality. Trust me. I know. I know. And I add that later. When I decide, you know what? This boat, it needs to be more like a Kane's Ace boat, which at the moment, it's just, it's just a regular boat. Okay. So what does Kane's Ace go and do? Well, my friends, let me tell you what I did. I put a pussy on the boat. One could even say the boat pussy the bussy. I give this boat a pussy, right? And you know what else I do? I put a big cock and balls on the front. And my friends, my friends, you know what I do? I just start sticking penises all over the boat. There's more cocks in here than a chicken coop, my friends. It's all going on. I'm sticking them on the flag. I'm sticking them on the front of the ship. I'm sticking them on the sign. And now you can see where the name Glizzy Galleon comes from. Some of you may have guessed before if you're big fans of the channel. <laughs> Oh, it's not a Kane's Ace video without a shambles, let me tell you. So the Glizzy Galleon is complete, and I even put myself a flag with our logo on it, just to represent for the Glizzy Pirates. But let me know what you think about the, you know, the pirate crew and the pirate ship in the comments, let me know. And from days 56 to 57, your boys gather in some ender pearls. 
Now, I wish this was 1.16 and I could go in the Crimson Forest for him, but you know what? Beggars can be choosers and beggars are on the street. So, you know, we got to deal with what we have to deal with. So me and Dylan travel to the all kinds of places, dude. But mostly the desert because I often see Enderman in either the plains or the desert. And so we're just dashing up Enderman, dude. Bam, bam, bam. And we're just gathering loads of Ender Pearls. I'm popping gear second. I'm just going like, cha cha cha. And you know, you ever seen Luffy with a shank? I'm like Luffy if he was in the Bloods, all right? I'm just like shepping up dudes on the street. And so I gather myself enough Ender Pearls that we're gonna need to get to the end and get in the pool. And so from day 58 to 64, we're in the end. Now, I don't know about you, but this end portal felt like it was ages away, but whatever. We get into the stronghold, we have a look around, but we get to the portal, and we put the eyes in the pool, and it's time for the end of Dragon Battle to commence. And I, you know, I can't do loads here. I end up fumbling around, because I ran out of hockey, and then it was a shambles. But just take a look how it went. Let's get it, baby. Or more like Robin no, gets it, and I'll just run around. Yeah, to be fair, Robin, you got this one, bud. Oh my god, my cannonballs might come in handy now. Ha! Boys, when he, when he perches, stand back. Let's all use our ranged attacks on him. Get off him. I'm sick of the monkey f***ing. What? <laughs> you heard me, f***ing monkeys! Get in there. I'm about to blow up, so you might want to get back. Quick, 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 quick. Ah! Oh, I, got, I got sent back. Oh. Robin's just like chasing him around. Do you reckon I could come here, boy? Do you reckon with my move, oh. I could spin him round? Maybe, if you like get there when he's like. Uh, yeah, so you saw me kind of dying in a hole while the Ender Dragon got blown up by Dylan. But, uh, hey, hey, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Well, at least we defeated him. Sorry the battle wasn't that intense. I mean, we're kind of overpowered at this point, especially Robin. And then we went to the end city and gathered ourselves up a little bit of loot for the boys. Yeah, there's not crazy stuff there, but I need a bit of diamond armor because I'm still rocking the iron. So we go and we find the end city. I get her my way up. I go in the chest, get my diamond armor. All right, I chuck that bad boy on. And I get an elytra, you know, I don't end up using it, but if I ever want to just like get her up and then glide around, I could. But there's no point, really. And then from day 65 to 69, <laughs> uh, we get Dylan the better devil fruit. Because his one kind of sucks at the moment. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just not very exciting, you know? It's not a really, like, iconic devil fruit. So we do the usual kind of shenanigans where we got to go around to all these different places. Marine bases, marine ships, the whole thing. But take a look how it goes. Oh, what does the sign say? Bounty? It must Bounty. be their favorite chocolate bar. Get him! Couple of lads. Couple of That's laggy Samuels. Stand back, stand back. I'm gonna let this guy have it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, you bloody exploded. You did indeed let him have it. There's a new oh. lootage up here. Yes, to the next base. <laughs> Jeez. Show your fugly mouth! That was not what I meant to do. Erase half yeah. of the. Not, not what I meant to do. Well, did the stairs get obliterated? Is what I'm curious about. Uh, Probably. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm taking him down. Oh, I fell. Good thing I don't take full damage. Break the chest. Yo, I don't mind. Guess what I just found, Kane. What, what, what? Come on, some fucking tell me. A bleeding, a bleeding, a oh. bloody golden box, mate. Look at that. Oh, sh Pristine crate. Bro, that's more valuable than, like, oh, my man. lungs. I got some good ass lungs. Wait, I want to go see some uh, convicted felons. I think Robin's just killed a whole load of prisoners. Wait, but there is, there's something over here. My bad, guys. Uh, they're probably on death row anyway. Yeah, they were on there for a reason, it's alright. Yeah, either there or they were there for Nick in a Snickers bar. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well I say we take this box home and crank that puppy open. So yeah, we get another golden box, and once we crack it open, we get... Set me on fire, you bloke. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Please, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> Yo, there you go. the Tori Tori no me. Now this is Marco's Devil Fruit, the mythical Zoan Phoenix Devil Fruit. Damn dog, you looking good. Them chicken legs look delicious. Oh, wow. So we got this one. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, next one. 
We've got a flame of restoration. Would you like some healing? I would love some. Okay, let me, let me see which one this is. Here you go, mate. Wait, do I have to hit you? Hold on. There you go, mate. Oh, and you gave me regen too. Yo. And hit her. Oh! Yo. Whoa, he's gone pigeon mode. <laughs> She's gone pigeon mode. Ooh, look at me bob, bro. Yo. <laughs> it looks a little goofy, you know, a little comical, but it actually does some cool things. Not a lot of damaging stuff, but he can heal us, give us like full health and regen too. So it's really not too bad. And then from day 70 to 73, we gather up some wither skulls. And this goes pretty smoothly all in all, because I can kind of mince up the wither skeletons. So I'm just knocking them out. We've already got one skull from when we were in the Never earlier. So we've only got to get two. And I do have a looting sword. You know, I, I got to use a sword. This would normally be Dylan's job as Zoro. But you know what? He wasn't available. Who knows what he was up to? I do manage to get myself not one, not two. Yeah, I get two. I get, I get two wither skulls. And so with that, I've got three wither skulls. And we're ready to fight the wither. And we took him on in a marine base. The one that nobody would spawn in. So that's what we think of the Navy, I guess. Anyway, take a look how the battle went. Are we ready? Yeah, let's go. Boop. Let's move. Go. Boop. I'm Boop. gonna eat. Oh, I should cheese. probably run away for a moment, though, to be fair. You guys, uh, let me know when he's out. Oh, yeah. I'll just float up here, guys. Don't worry. Never mind. Ready. Oh, he came to you. He most certainly did. And he is don't causing worry, guys, a ruckus I've already. Him. I've made it I'm back about up. i to kick this dude down. Oh. Bop, 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 bop. Barren him, barren him. Hear him, get him. Oh, you're not ready for this. I'm gonna hit him with the ground pound. Oh, is he chasing me? Oh, he is. A bit. Oh, he's just knocked me off the building. But ain't nobody keeping your boy down. Oh, damn. Oh, but he's still after me, bro. He just won't leave me alone. No! Leave me alone, bro. Nice. Oh, it wasn't difficult, but he was kind of targeting Dylan, who was flying around. It was kind of hard for me to aim my like my Gatling into the air, you know. So, but we did get him down, and we got a Never Star from it. And then from day seventy-five to eighty-six, we built Onigashima. Now, if you're not caught up, I, this is no spoilers, but this is where Kaido be throwing his parties, be chilling the whole thing in Onigashima. This is where the current Awano arc is at, the raid on Onigashima. We're building this huge structure, and here's a few little pictures of what it looks like. So we start by making this island, right? We have to make a little path out to it, and then we put the perimeter around so we know how big it's gonna be. So we fill the floor in, and then we start to do the kind of like rocky area that goes around the perimeter of Onigashima. So we're just gonna, you know, we can't make these huge rocks because it will get in the way and, you know, the build's not quite big enough for that. And then we start with the actual skull-shaped build itself. And look, you know what, I, I just start with a face and it's not perfect and it takes some work and I end up changing it around a little bit. But we kind of have the general idea of where the face is gonna go because obviously you go into the building through under the teeth. So I'm trying to build the eyes. I'm doing the best I can to match it. It's a little tricky, but... I'm it's not a terrible job. Give it a chance to the end to really cast your judgment on it. We're lucky that Dylan can fly, so he does the bulk of the, like, you know, when we go to build the horns, he kind of carries that for us. And so then after building the general area of the face, we then have to build up the walls around to make the skull shape, right? And this is harder than it may may seem, okay? Because you got to make it, like, go up and then curve around. And in survival, it's difficult. You know, you got to keep running back and looking. And so we, we do build up these sides. We got this kind of like curve slowly coming up. All right. And then we kind of finish the curve on the top of the roof. And then what's left to do is the horns as well as the interior. So we start with the horns of the build. And so we got Dylan on one side doing the right horn. And you can tell there's a difference because he can fly. And me and Robert do the left one. And uh, yeah, the right one, um, well, as you can see, came out just uh, that tad bit better. It looks way more like the picture because me and Robin were just trying to like not fall off into the water while building as well as trying to keep the shape. So that's how it is, man. You know what? At some point, I'm sure the horns will get cut off. So it's not a huge deal. And so after the horns were built, we had to start on the interior. Obviously, Onigashima is way bigger than our version. This is like a, a, a condensed, intensely condensed version. 
So all I could really do was do the performance floor and just put some dining tables and plates and uh, we, we start working on like a, uh, you can see here it's like the kind of like stand where Kaido and Queen were up making announcements and stuff. And I even got the cross where Momonosuke was tied to and a little microphone for anyone who's up there to use. And so on the floor, we just got like these cauldrons, which were meant to be the uh, red bean soup. Uh, just like I can, you know, obviously can't have them knocked over, but you know, the soup all over the place. I did my best, all right, it, it's gonna have to be good enough. The main thing is how it looks from the outside. And so this is the kind of finished result, boys. I'll play a few little clips of it. We tried to get the glowing eyes thing going with some glowstone. It isn't perfect. But it kind of looks, kind of looks like the, the the general image of Onigashima. But let me know what we could have done to make it glow a little better. All in all, good build, and I think it was worth doing. Probably one of the cooler builds we've done. And actually managed to fit the One Piece theme. Day 87 to 93, we're getting some new devil fruits, alright? Only because I kind of want you guys to see a few different devil fruits. Because there's loads in the mod. If you were wondering why we didn't collect them all. Because there's like... 52 and so obviously we can't use them all so I just tried to use as many as I could while still having fun with the ones I wanted to use more so yeah day 87 to 93 we're out on another adventure the final adventure of this video going to get some more devil fruits put a comment down below which devil fruits you think we're gonna get so take a look at what we get up to yeah, that's right, we got another golden box, dude. I forget, the treasure gem, what are they called, boxes? I don't know. We then travel somewhere else. Ready for unboxing? <laughs> I'm always ready for an unboxing. Shoot a few cannons for good luck. Have we killed everyone? Yes. Dude, that's kind of fucked up. All right, gentlemen, attack! I'm going. They're getting choked up, they're choking. We're going on this day. And then from here, we get ourselves an iron box. And you know, we'll probably bung this off to Dylan. All right, chaps. Go nutty, go silly, go stupid, go absolutely bonkers. I'm feeling a little, feeling a little destructive, Dylan. Oh, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little destructive. Oh, you just threw me. Sorry about that. I'm too busy killing people. And yes, from this ship, we get another golden death. So we take these bad boys home, and on day 94, we crack them open. Boys, we got our boxes. We're on Onigashima. Are you ready, Dylan? This, this is going to be your treat right here. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. What is this? Kira, Kira, oh. Holy crud. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I get to become diamond now. Whoa, I gotta mine him, I gotta mine him, I gotta mine him. And so Dylan indeed gets the diamond fruit. I forgot the exact name. You'll have to correct me in the comments. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, what you think it is, is what it is. He li can literally turn his body to diamond. Mm. Let's go! Oh. And then I crack open the next devil fruit, and it's the Mera Mera no Me Boys Ace's Devil Fruit. They don't call him Kane's Ace for nothing, dude. So what I do, I kill myself, and so I get rid of the Gummo Gummo no Me. Rest in peace, the Lord above, praise Jesus. And I eat the Mera Mera no Me, but first we need to crack open our last devil fruit. Ooh, ooh. Yeah! This is big, Dylan. You know how big this is? Oh. That is massive. This is massive. Whoa, are you, are you whoa, hungry, whoa, big boy? Whoa, you hungry? You want a bit of that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right, the yummy, yummy no me. Black beard's devil fruit. Now, I was a little curious about this. Did it let someone eat two devil fruits at once like it does in the show? Potentially, you know, we think that's what it does. Nobody truly knows. But, um, you know, so I give the yummy, yummy no me to Robin. And so he chows down on that bad boy. And he does indeed have both his old devil fruit as well as the Yummy Yummy No Me's powers. And so uh, take a look at what the uh, Yummy Yummy No Me can do. It's, 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 it's a pretty wild devil fruit, especially paired with Robin's other powers, which are already too strong. That's what we got here is a uh, black hole. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Some critical testing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you've now got rid of the black hole. Oh, right. Oh, oh, bro, you could capture a homie in that thing. Oh, are you filling with like what you pulled up from the ground? Yeah. So he gives the suck, and then I sh back out. Wow. Oh, oh, Christ. 
And then I test my new flame powers. But then I got a dash. So if I turn this on, I go like, ooh. Well, high fives all around, everybody. So it's pretty cracked. And this gives us the idea to go mining from day 95 to 98. So basically, me and Robin are just blasting through the ground. Because I don't take no damage to fire now. So all these flames you see ain't doing nothing to me. So I'm just destroying. I'm just blasting holes again and again and again. And yeah, you know, I got a little bit of diamond armor, but we all went to get full diamond just to finish off. So we go down, and I'm looking for diamonds, so I'm just blasting through. Get me some diamonds here, some diamonds there, some diamonds there. It's all high, high quality stuff, gentlemen, while I'm blowing holes in the ground. We also went mining so I could have some blocks to put down for the beacon, so we could put the beacon down as well. And so that's what I did on day 99, is I made the beacon, put the beacon down, put it in Onigashima, and it just blasts through the top of the skull. And so now we got a little bit of speed. But that don't matter, ladies and gentlemen, because on day 100, we have a battle to the death. Now, luckily, we ain't dying permanently, but we do lose our devil fruit, so that does suck. And, uh, I mean, it was obvious who was going to win. I don't know why we did it, but we did it anyway. Take a look at how the battle went. How we were feeling about... What's about to go down? Uh, I'm very scared because you've both got golden boxes and I've got a silver box thing. Yeah, that does feel bad. What? What? <laughs> get me out of it, dude. Fucking get me out of it. Nothing like flames to hurt a man. Don't even know where he's gone. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He found me. Well, then flames burn, huh? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, GG's? GG's? <laughs> GG Nuri? So we couldn't watch what Dylan was doing, but yeah, he got destroyed as well. And so let's uh, let's hear how the boys think the 100 days went. All right, lads, how do we think it went? Have a little, uh, have a little brew, my friend. Mm, victory brew. I think this was a successful hundred days. We clearly see some devil fruits are better than other ones. Oh, bloody hell. So high fives all around, am I right, Robin? Uh... And so, fellas, that's going to do it for this video, man. Like, subscribe, notifications. It helps a long way, man. We're trying to get to 100k as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching, man. And uh, as per usual, please have yourselves a damn good one. Come <laughs>